What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Arrow Season 6. Just like I've been promising you guys over the last few weeks, the closer we get to Comic-Con, the more information we're gonna get about all of our favorite DC TV over at the CW. Speaking of Comic-Con, I plan to be live quite a bit over Comic-Con weekend so I can talk with you guys about all the news we get, videos, trailers, information, and give you my live reaction to all the stuff we're seeing. Now, I'm not sure of my schedule just yet. I'm working on that, but I will give you guys all the details on that schedule on Monday's Rant and Preview, so make sure you tune in to that episode. Now, getting back on track for this video, about a month ago, we saw some on-location photos of Dinah Drake wearing what looked to be a Black Canary costume. But finally, thanks to Entertainment Weekly, we have an official picture of Dinah Drake wearing her costume from season six. How do I feel about it? Well, let's take a look at it together and I'll talk you guys through it. Okay guys, so here is the photo from Entertainment Weekly. This is the first photo we're getting of Dinah Drake in her official Black Canary costume. Well, the first official photo from the CW. Now looking at this picture, the first thing that jumps out at me isn't related to the costume itself. It is the color of Black Canary's hair. They're not going with the iconic blonde look that a lot of fans love. I know this is gonna be a big problem for fans of Black Canary who love that blonde hair. They're gonna say, no, 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 the natural color is not gonna work. It's not a deal breaker for me. It does stand out. It is pretty obvious that they're doing a different color with her. What do you guys think about her hair color? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so as far as the picture goes, I think that we have to keep in mind that anytime we get a photo released to an outlet like Entertainment Weekly or any other source that is putting out official CW stuff, they doctor the photos. So the photo is, it looks the best it can possibly look when they release it to us, which is why when you get back to the show, sometimes the costumes don't look quite as good. Let's blow this up really quick so we can look at some of the details here. Okay, so let's look at the mask here. Um, I think the mask looks great. Uh, I don't know about, like, I'm not a big fan of the the smudging on the face. Like, I don't like it too much. A lot of superheroes use it when they do, like, these uh, assassin or nighttime type vigilante characters. I like it better on the Flash where there's an open eye and you can kind of see within the mask what the face looks like. But here it looks like they went with a wide eye, but then they decided to smudge the inside of it. They've been doing this since, like, 1989 Batman, since the Tim Burton Batman series. So I don't know if we're ever going to get rid of this whole smudgy eye thing. I'm not a big fan of that, but I like the overall design of the mask. And let's scroll down a little bit here. And as you can see on the shoulders and side of the costume, there is a scale detailing that I actually like. I don't know what you guys think about this. Let me know in the comments if you like this detailing. I kind of like it. Um, I think it adds a little, you know, adds a little more to the costume. I think the piping could be a bit more yellow. As you can see, it has a gold look to the piping. Uh, right here. I don't know if you guys can see my mouse or not, but the piping in there, I think that could be a bit more yellow to me personally, but um, it's pretty cool. I think I'm glad that they did a little detail like that. Uh, the stitching on the chest and the zipper, I think are fine. I, I don't think it fits as best it could. It looks a little ill-fitting there in the front, but not a big deal, not a huge deal. Uh, we'll talk about the gloves here in a moment. Uh, the belt and stuff looks very... Uh, Looks useless kind of to me, like I don't see a utility aspect to it, and I'm going to dive more into that as we look, as we talk a bit more about this costume. Okay, so let's go over here. I want to talk about the gloves really quick, uh, these longer gloves. Now, I love the details here inside the glove with the elastic that holds it on. Um, I think that's pretty cool. I don't know why the gloves are, like, what is this design element here with the open arm between the, uh, the sleeve and the top of the glove? Uh, this is an element that I don't like, and let me tell you why I don't like this. It feels kind of useless or pointless, because if you go back and you look at both Sarah Lance and uh, and Laurel Lance's Black Canary, more specifically Laurel Lance's Black Canary, their outfits had a lot of use to them. They had a lot of things. They were very thoughtful. You know, they had places to carry weapons, and they protected them as best they could. I feel like this is sort of a design element that I'm not a big fan of. It's more style over substance. And when I think of Arrow, I don't think of style over substance when it comes to costume design. That's something more akin to like Legends of Tomorrow. So it kind of bugs me a little bit. And as we go down the glove here, we also see that uh, they've got like a little uh, uh, overlay pattern here on the top of the glove that looks like it may be for protection during combat, or it could just be for looks. 
Again, the belt and the gloves to me feel a bit useless overall. Um, I think that's because I'm I'm more like it's more commonplace to see Arrow with characters that wear suits that have things that serve a purpose. And this feels more like a Legends of Tomorrow design. And that's my biggest issue with this. Like I don't I don't necessarily dislike the suit, but in regards to Arrow, it's kind of meh to me simply because it looks like it's more style over substance. And if you like that kind of stuff, then I guess you'll like the suit design. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. It's just sort of meh. Like, I don't feel like there's a lot of yellow in it. I'd like to see more yellow. It doesn't like it fits properly between the chest and the stomach uh, into the belt area. Uh, The gloves, the shoulders, all that feels a little weird to me. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like an arrow costume. It feels like something you would see on Legends of Tomorrow. And maybe that's my problem with it. Because this is Arrow. It's not Legends of Tomorrow. So, uh, and another thing is, I can't tell if it's black or if it's green. Now, I have a feeling the green tint that we're seeing in this picture is specifically done for lighting in the photo to sort of make it feel more cohesive with Arrow. But I'd like to see it a more darker color. I don't necessarily like all the green in it because it, it feels more like reptilian than anything. Like, this is the Black Canary and it feels more like... Uh, like, I don't know, like, like maybe the, the little, the scaling design is what's throwing me off there. I like that touch, but maybe in regards to the colors, it probably wasn't the best choice. So I'm going to say, I think it's okay. It's kind of just, eh, uh, I like the mask. I do love the, like I said, the scale design. I think the stitching and stuff looks pretty cool. But you know my other complaints about it here and how I feel about it. So what I want to know is what you guys think about this costume. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think, are you happy about Dinah Drake sort of taking over the mantle for Black Canary? Or, you know, were you hoping that Earth 2 Laurel Lance would come in and become Black Canary? What do you guys think about this look? And um, are you excited to see more of these costume upgrades in Season 6 of Arrow? So the truth is, I'm not really jumping out of my seat for this costume. It's just, like I said, okay, it'll be just fine on the show. But I wanted more. I wanted a lot more. Like, I thought maybe they were going to give her a version of Laurel Lance's costume when she was a Black Canary, because I love that design. But it's quite possible that the showrunners know that the legacy of Laurel is so important to those fans that maybe they didn't want Dinah to step that far into the character. They're like, we're already giving her the name. She's already going to be the Black Canary, so we don't want to give her Laurel's costume and get people even more upset about this. So maybe that's why they decided to do that, or maybe they have plans to move this version of Black Canary to Legends of Tomorrow, because I did say this felt like a Legends suit to me, so it's quite possible she's going to be a big part of Season 6 and Arrow, and then she takes a hike, heads over to Legends, and Laurel Lance from Earth 2 becomes the Black Canary for Arrow, and then we have two Black Canaries, that was four, we have two Black Canaries running around using the mantle of that character. I mean, what do you guys think? Are you excited to see Dinah Drake become the Black Canary? I know a lot of people are not happy about this. So I want to know in the comments below what you guys think. Don't forget, I got big plans for next weekend, Comic-Con live streaming. I'm going to try and do something big for you guys and interact with you while we get all the news and updates from our favorite shows. I'm going to release a tentative schedule for that on Monday's Rant Preview. So be sure to check that out. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by the Eric verse. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't have anything else for you today. That's all I got. So take care. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a lot of fun this weekend. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for Fan Battle Royale.